Hello and welcome to another Advanced Skeleton video. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the Name Matcher tool. Now, there are a lot of very nice software out there that generate 3D character models. Now, just to name a few, we have Autodesk Character Generator, we have Poser, we have Des 3 d and there's the iClone Character Generator. Now, what most of these programs have in common is that they will let you export the model along with the binding skeleton into an FBX file, which you can import into Maya. Now, here we have the default character out of Character Creator from Real Illusion. So, the purpose of the Name Matcher tool is to allow you to take models like this and very quickly apply advanced skeleton rigs to them. So let's start up Advanced Skeleton and go into the Tools section and open up the Name Matcher. So there's a few things in the Name Matcher tool. Now one thing here is the list of joints, which essentially is the translation list of what the name of the Advanced Skeleton joints translates into the name from the external file. And then we have templates here which is a list of known applications, which will autofill the other section for side and the joint dictionary. So for the character we have in the scene here, this guy comes from character creator. So we'll choose character creator from our dropdown lists and we'll see the joint dictionary. He automatically updates accordingly. Then we'll go into function and we'll start with the first function, which is to create and automatically place the fit skeleton. So we can see that brought in a default biped skeleton and matched the fitting to the character. Then we'll hit build advanced skeleton. And then constrain joints. And voila, we have a advanced skeleton rig that controls our imported character. So the default templates that is included in the matcher is uh, Autodesk Character Creator. And by the way, as we change here, we can see the URL to go learn more about the full applications updates under the drop down menu here. So there's Autodesk Character Generator, we got Character Creator, which you can get from Realution.com. We got das 3 d There's Poster from SmithMicro.com. And we also have Unreal as a template here, which lets you bring in character from Unreal and apply advanced skeleton rigs. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this is the standard Unreal mannequin character. And we'll make sure we got Unreal chosen in template drop down menu. And we'll go ahead and run the functions. Create and place fit skeleton. Build advanced skeleton. And constraint to joints. And we now have the Unreal Mannequin character rigged up with an advanced skeleton rig. Now, if there are other applications that you want to use in the same way, you can simply just go ahead and create your own template. Just by updating and adding to the uh, joint dictionary and filling out the side section and hit export. Or another way to do it is you can go into where these files are stored, which is going to be in your advanced skeleton folder under name match. And here are all the templates and they're all basic text files that you can just open and edit. Now that's it for the name match at all. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.